is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video i'm on camera for for some stupid reason i don't i don't know let's flip it around so today guys what i have for you is another wwe action figure setup and it is freaking flames in here we got a great setup here today i'm very excited it is wwe stomping grounds 2019 edition guys you know the pay-per-view is on sunday i'm very excited for it psych i am not very excited for it this card is not very good guys let's be let's be freaking real with you let's be real it's it's not looking like that like that good but i have a setup for you guys today it is stomping grounds edition i'm gonna take you through it let's start off in the corner over there and we'll take you all the way through it like we always do and we will uh we'll see what's happening back here in the mdt backstage area all right guys so starting off in the corner we have the raw women's champion becky lynch right here guys you guys know she's going one-on-one -on -one with lacey evans i think she's gonna retain the championship and what she's doing right here is she's smiling she's got a big old smile on her face right she's smiling one reason because she defeated lacey evans and the second reason is because trash corbin right here got laid out you can see his face was curb stomped on to the Universal Championship. And then if she looks over here to the right, you got the Beast Incarnate, the Beast in the Bank, Brock Lesnar getting curb stomped by her man Seth freaking Rollins right here. And Seth is laying that curb stomp onto the Beast right onto the contract. Gonna eliminate him there. So maybe Brock Lesnar, I think he may be that special referee, guys. And if he's that special referee, um, I think we could see him walking out as champion. But in my setup, he took care of trash. He took out the trash here. And then he, uh, he took his attention there to Lesnar and took him out of business. So Seth Rollins definitely getting the upper hand. My man's gonna gonna retain that Universal Championship, and so I reflected it here in the setup with the double curb stomp. If we go beyond, guys, you will see Kofi Kingston, the WWE Champion, is is wrapped up right here, right? He's got his ribs wrapped up. You can see Xavier Woods and Big E checking on their boy. Um, I think that, uh, you know, Kofi's going to get tore up versus Ziggler in that steel cage. So, you know, his ribs are wrapped. He took a lot of damage, but he did ultimately retain his WWE Championship. So that is what's going on here. So he's laid out on the stretcher, but his boys are by his side, and the New Day is safe here. He's got his championship. He's feeling good, and Kofi has retained. So he's feeling good good about that and his boys are there to take care of him even though he may be in a little bit of pain everything's all good as he retained his championship if we go over here to the uh left center here you have roman reigns the big dog put through the table i think he will defeat drew mcintyre but here in the setup guys drew mcintyre and shaming man got the best of him when they took him out and put him through the table maybe a little bit pissed off since the big dog did defeat drew mcintyre here at the uh, stomping grounds pay-per-view so drew mcintyre and shaming man wanted to take care of him you know take care of business lay out the big dog and they did so by putting him through the backstage table. If we go a little bit to the right, guys, you will see we have a brand new WWE Universal Champion, Ricochet, getting interviewed backstage after the big championship win. You know, it's his first singles title here on the main roster. He's feeling great. He's feeling terrific. And so they're just asking him his thoughts, as well as the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Bayley, also excited. She's screaming. She's yelling. She's having a great time because she did retain her championship. So her and Ricochet are sort of celebrating here, getting the interviews backstage with Corey Graves in front of the monitor there, you know, and uh, that, that's what I have set up here. You know, we always have a couple interviews, maybe three, going on in the backstage setup. So I continued the trend here. Brand new champion, Ricochet. Um, I don't think he's going to win the U.S. champion, but I, I think it'd be a really cool, sweet deal to see if he could defeat Samoa Joe and get that U.S. title. So maybe it'll happen, maybe not. But here in the setup, he did accomplish that feat. If we come to the middle, guys, you will see. I, I really love this part. This is one of my favorite parts of the setup right here. You have the, uh, I know that R-Truth is not the current 24-7 champion, right? Isn't Drake Maverick the current 24-7 champion? I I can't keep up, man. I mean, you blink and there's a new 24-7 champion. But here in the setup, R-Truth has gained back the 24-7 championship. And look at his face. It looks like he is just on the run, right? His face is just telling the story. Look at him. He's like, holy hell, where the hell is it? He's he's panicking. He's stressed out. Look at that face. He is freaking worried, man, because everybody is gunning for that 24-7 championship. So R-Truth has that title, and he is worried sick. So he, he you know, he's got the crazy look on his face, and he is running around. He's got his head on a swivel, man making sure he doesn't get attacked from behind. So there is my favorite part of the setup. I just think it's so funny because of that face. I mean, just, just look at it. Freaking, freaking crazy. So after our truth, guys, we come to the front here, and just like Kofi Kingston, guys, Dolph Ziggler, my man Ziggler here is tore up. He's on his own stretcher. You know, uh, Kofi Kingston over there on his own got, got tore up with the ribs. Well, Ziggler is knocked out cold after losing in another championship effort versus Kofi Kingston. He came up short in the steel cage. It didn't matter. You know, Ziggler really wanted that steel cage match. He wanted to to have to make sure that nobody could get in there and it didn't matter he lost anyway and he had to pay the price for requesting for a steel cage you know you got to pay 
pay the price, and he did here as he is getting stretchered out of the arena here by the two men. I know it's J&J &J Security, but, you know, Jamie Noble works backstage, and, you know, so he'd probably be checking on Ziggler. Who knows? But coming over here into the corner, guys, we do have Samoan Joseph, and this is the opposite look of what Ricochet got, right? Ricochet was excited. He's happy. He won the U.S. title. Well, on the other side of that, you have Samoan Joseph over here in the dark in the corner, very upset, you know, planning his, his revenge on Ricochet to get that U.S. title back. So Joe just sort of getting some alone time here, collecting his evil thoughts, ready to attack Ricochet. Moving on here, guys, we do have Akira Tozawa, and I know that, uh, you know, Tony Nese is the Cruiserweight Champion, and Drew Gulak is also in that triple threat match at WWE Stomping Grounds. However, I, I don't know why, but in the setup here today, I, I have him winning the championship. You know, we haven't seen him with the title in a while. I think he's a one- or two-time champion. I can't remember. I know he's been champion before, and so I just have him here clutching the championship because he won. So I thought, why not just add it to the setup? You know, we don't, we, I don't have my Tony Nese figure yet. I don't have my Drew Gulak figure yet. So why not add Akira Tozawa here with the Cruiserweight title, have him carrying that purple strap, and it'd be cool to have him clutching it on here. In the back, you will see Alexa Bliss. Guys, Alexa Bliss is pissed off. Little Miss Bliss is Little Miss pissed the freak off because Bailey defeated her. Guys, I really don't want her to win. You know, I feel like she's been 162-time champion. So she is, uh, she's pouting over here in the corner. I think this is the second setup in a row now that she's been pouting, and it's because she has lost. You know, she loves to pitch a fit once she's lost. So Alexa Bliss is doing the same here in the setup. So she's in the corner. And then over here we have the tag team of my boy Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Guys, they are both embracing because they defeated the New Day. I know the New Day was over there with Kofi and they're all good. However, I think that the New Day will lose ultimately to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I think that would be the better booking option. I think that would be the better decision. So Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn I think will pick up the victory and the New Day will ultimately lose. I think that if Kofi wins, the New Day needs to lose and I think Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn need this, uh, you know, this good shot of a momentum here. Good momentum on their side by winning this matchup here over the New Day. And, you know, New Day's done everything under the sun, guys. So why not give them a victory here over those guys and, and give them some good momentum moving forward. If we come to the back, guys, the final part of the setup is my boy Finn Balor. And he's just walking around, guys. He's got his blue gear on. He looks good. He's got his Intercontinental Championship just smooth sailing through the backstage area. You want to know why? Because he doesn't have have a matchup at uh, Stomping Grounds on Sunday night, and I, uh, somebody pointed out to me, it had a bunch of likes on it, that apparently Andrade's mother passed away at, uh, like moments after Super Showdown, or uh, after his matchup at Super Showdown with Finn Balor, and uh, my prayers go out to Andrade and his family. However, I don't think that that really goes with Finn Balor. I don't see where that would tie into storyline. I don't know if maybe, I guess Andrade was supposed to have a program with Balor moving forward for the next few weeks or something. Maybe that's why uh, Finn Balor doesn't have a match, and so they just kind of scrapped it and gave Andrade a break, gave Finn Balor a break, because Finn Balor hasn't been on TV, I don't think, and, uh, you know, Andrade hasn't been either, which makes sense, but um, I think it would have been fine to have Finn Balor find a different opponent, maybe hold an open challenge just to have a good matchup, have your Intercontinental Championship on TV, have your Intercontinental Championship on the pay-per-view, but I do uh, I do uh, feel for Andrade, and I hope that his family is doing well in this time, and that uh, they're, they're at peace, and they're feeling well, but that is pretty much the set up guys and I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the setup. I, I like this setup a lot. You know, I like the pay-per-view theme ones. You know, you got a lot of options that you could do. Really like this shot right here. The best part of the setup, guys, is hands down our truth right here. I really like the hard truth. I also like the Kofi Kingston. I like the Kofi Kingston surrounded by his boys right here. I think that looks good. And then you have him toting the WWE Championship. And then I also like Trash Corbin face down. I love that. That's how he should be. That's the closest he should be to the Universal Championship, right? Just a curb stomp to the face and he's eliminated. He doesn't get anything. He doesn't get crap. He's just a piece of trash. Just look at him. Look at the trash. So that is it, guys. I would love to know down in the comment section below your thoughts and predictions. I also posted my real predictions for Stomping Grounds yesterday. If you guys want to go check that video out, definitely go check it out. Let me know your predictions. Also, what's your favorite part of the setup? I just told you guys mine, so I would really love if you guys would let me know. So comment down below your favorite part of the setup, guys. Also, check out our Instagram page, at MyDamnToys on Twitter as well. It's the same thing, MyDamnToys, just like you see it here on the channel. No underscores, no spaces, no bullcrap. Just straight up MyDamnToys. But that is going to do it for today's setup video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your favorite portion. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Look at Ziggler, man. He's 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 not gonna freaking win, man. He's just he's gonna freaking lose, just like he always freaking does.